first off, I want to say thank you for watching this video. And uh, secondly, I'd like to encourage you to share this with as many uh, people as possible before the government takes these images down. What I'm going to show you are a series of images around Area 51 uh, that are very mysterious, unexplained, um, and need to get out there. We need as many people to see these as possible uh, before the government takes them down. Everything I'm going to share with you, um, I encourage you to look up on your own. I will have all the grid coordinates for all of these locations in the description bar of my um, of my video. Um, and, and please, please share this with as many people as you can uh, before the government takes these images down. Uh, they've done that in the past with other mysterious images in this area. So we need as many people to see these as possible if we want the truth to get out there. The first thing I'm going to do is go to Groom Lake, Nevada, and you can do this on your own uh, in Google Maps as well, and I encourage you to do so. Um, a couple just side notes I want to show you that Google's had a little fun with this. They have um, this image here of, of Groom Lake with the UFO, and they have some other images down here as well. A lot of people believe that the government is asked uh, Google to do this kind of work to show that uh, that believing in flying saucers is ridiculous and uh, um, to kind of discredit uh, people that that are that, that believe in, in UFOs. Uh, the other one here is the little street sky turns into a UFO, and again there are several folks, uh, myself included, that believe the government has asked Google to do this to kind of make light of the UFOs and to discredit people that believe. So this uh, right here is Groom Lake. This is the uh, dry lake bed in Nevada. Um, and this is Area 51 here. These are the landing strips and building facilities uh, used for the secret, uh, secret base. Um, there's lots of interesting things to see around here, so I encourage you to go ahead and put that in your search, uh, like I did up here, and, and look around. While searching this area, I was able to find four very interesting uh, places uh, that I fear the government will take down soon. There are these four stars here, and again, I will have uh, links, uh, I'll have all these grid coordinates up for you to look on your own. This one right here, I will save for the end. It's the most significant. Uh, so please, please, please make sure you stay to the end. This one right here, I need everyone to see and I need this shared with as many people as possible. The first one here are odd glyphs, um, almost like the Nazca lines in Peru. And this one is uh, commonly known as the Nevada Desert Triangle. It is a giant, a giant equilateral triangle with a series of concentric circles, and there is a building at the center. So even if you believe that these are old and ancient drawings, uh, you're left to wonder what the building is here at the center. Again, this is in the Area 51 facility um, and is very mysterious indeed. Second one, initially might look like a pentagram, but when you look closer you can see there's actually six sides to this star and the circles. There are also a series of bunkers around and one in the center again. And the road running right through this leads me to believe that this is not ancient, this is something current and the military is using this for some purpose. Another interesting side note is there are a series of what look like uh, blast craters around this site as well. And again, I will have links to all of these grid coordinates. You can copy and paste them, put them right in your browser, and check these out on your own. This next one is um, very interesting. It's a little complex here in Area 51, but what makes this really interesting is this pyramid right here. 
and I'm going to include a uh, an image that was taken at a different time of day that shows uh, much more contrast, so you can definitely tell that this is a pyramid, uh, leaving one asked why there is a pyramid in the middle of the Nevada desert right next to military facilities. And it does indeed look like this is its own separate complex with a fence around it. So what is being done here, that not only is it not secret enough to be as part of Area 51, but this also needs to have its own separate uh, offense as well. Now I'm going to show you the most significant of my four items here around Groom Lake. This one is uh, right here. Here's Groom Lake. This is the one I need absolutely everybody to share with as many people as you can so that you all can go look on your own before the government takes this image down. There have been other images like this uh, that the government has already taken down, and I'm fearful that this one will go before we get answers. It clearly shows a disk object with a shadow below it. So this is a UFO flying over the Nevada desert right around Area 51. Um, and this is something I know the government does not want to be seen, um, and it will come down. So please, uh, like I said, share uh, this with as many people as you can. The grid coordinates are um, included in the description of my video, and I want everyone to see this, and we need to get to the truth. Thank you, and uh, again, please share.